In this video tutorial, I will be covering 2.1 Solving Modulus Inequalities. For those of you who don't know, 2.1 represents Chapter 2, Section 1 of the Pearson A-Level Maths Pure Maths Year 2 textbook. Question number 1. Solve the inequality modulus of 2x plus 9 is less than 14 minus x. Right, let's have a look at the solution. The very first step is to form two inequalities from this single modulus inequality. The first inequality, I'm going to call it inequality A. Okay, it will just be whatever you have inside the modulus, so 2x plus 9, in this case, is less than 14 minus x. Now you solve this inequality in your standard way of solving inequalities. And once you've solved this inequality, you obtain the solution x is less than 5 over 3. Okay, people. Now, we have to form our second inequality. I'm going to call this b. In this case, you put brackets around 2x plus 9. And you stick a minus in front of the bracket. That there has to be less than 14 minus x. You solve this inequality as normal to obtain your solution. And the solution that you obtain is x is greater than minus 23. Right. So we have that x is greater than minus 23, but x is less than 5 over 3. You can write this in a more compact form. And you write it as follows. So minus 23 is less than x but x is less than 5 over 3. That there is the solution to this particular modulus inequality. Right, people, now it's time to move on to question number 2. So question 2 says, solve the inequality minus modulus of 3x plus 4 is less than 2x minus 9. I would like to solve this modulus inequality. Now, as a teacher, I can see a lot of students making mistakes on this particular question because of the negative in front of the modulus. Some questions I call them crispy, the other questions I like to call them juicy. So this particular question, I'm going to call it juicy. It's a very juicy question. Let's solve it. So first of all, you need to form two inequalities. The first inequality, I'm going to call it inequality A, and it will just be whatever I have inside the modulus of 3x plus 4. And because I have the negative sign in front of the modulus, I put brackets around this and put a negative here. That there has to be less than 2x minus 9. There you go. Now you just solve this, and after solving, you get the solution, x is greater than 1. Right? x is greater than 1. Now you form the second inequality, and I'm going to call the second inequality, inequality b. Okay? So it will just be 3x plus 4 in brackets, with a minus outside. And don't forget to include another minus because there is a minus in front of the modulus. So the two negatives over here cancel out to form a positive. So what I can do is rub this out and put a positive sign here. But I don't really need to put that positive sign. I can get rid of that as well. There you go, just leave it like that. So that there has to be less than 2x minus 9. Now you solve this inequality to obtain a solution and after solving you get x is less than minus 13. So the overall solution will be x is greater than 1 or x is less than minus 13. There you go. Okay ladies and gents you could be examined on set notation. 
Before we look at question one and two, let's have a look at the basics of set notation. First of all, the word and is used for intersection. The word or is used for union. The symbol E represents element of. Let's have a look at question one. We would like to write x is greater than minus 23 and x is less than 5 over 3 in set notation. Well, first of all, I can underline and. The and is used for intersection. Okay. The next step is to look at the first inequality, x is greater than minus 23. You can replace that with the following. We have the set of x is an element of real numbers such that we are restricted to x is greater than minus 23. We replace the AND with intersection. The next one is x is greater than 5 over 3. We can write the set of x is an element of real numbers such that x is less than 5 over 3. And that there is your set notation. Done. Let's have a look at question number two. So over here we have the word or, okay, so I can underline that. I can replace that with the set notation union. So the first one is x is greater than 1. I can write the set of x is an element of real numbers such that the restriction is x is greater than 1. You guys can actually replace the or with union. Okay, so we replace the or with union. The next one is x is less than minus 30. We can actually write the following. Straightforward. The set of x is an element of real numbers such that the restriction is x is less than minus 13. And that there is your solution in set notation. If you found this video tutorial useful, please don't forget to subscribe and make sure you like the video. Pass on the link to this particular YouTube page to your family and friends. Hopefully everyone will benefit from it. Peace.